Name the faraway place and Pathé Pictorial's been there. You can't get much farther away from it all than this, the Jhelum River in remote Kashmir, Punjab country, where the only road that exists is this waterway. This is the country's floating marketplace. Here's where we start to review the exciting journeyings of our cameras to see just how much of this colorful world we've presented during the past year. From Kashmir to Israel, where the Mediterranean laps Roman ruins and ancient columns support the sea walls. From the Roman theatre here, we move to one in neighbouring Jordan, barely aware that we've crossed a frontier of armed hostility. This is Petra, the rose-red city half as old as time, that for centuries was lost on an abandoned camel trail. Men carved these rocks 600 years before Christ. Not long ago, it was a 10-day camel ride to get here from Amman, the capital. Now, Pathé Pictorial takes it in its stride through the ravine that guards it. From a dead city, we move to a living desert. Saudi Arabia's uncharted deserts are alive, just to say. How the wandering Bedouins find fodder for their goat herds in this blistering sea of sand is a mystery. Instinct tells them where to pitch their tents to catch a frugal crop of desert plants fed only by some occasional hint of dew. It's hard to equate this thirsty desert life with the wealth of oil that they pump from the sandstone underneath. These are treasure houses more fabulous than any Aladdin's cave. Two things link this desert with a civilized West. This gleaming refinery with a fiery chimney as its blazing symbol of modern power, and those storks which fly from the Middle East each spring to Denmark, Hans Andersen's fairy tale country. He would still recognize this reconstructed street in Aarhus. You eat out of doors, even here in the north. And the food itself is a colorful part of this colorful world that we present. Hamlet's castle stands guard over the gateway to the Baltic. Hamlet has been staged in this courtyard many times and filmed too in this setting. There's a romantic and a truly brave flavor about Elsinore. But it's in the Tivoli Gardens in the center of Copenhagen that you're gripped with the city's charm. But this isn't the Tivoli Gardens. This is Moscow, where a busy river slices through this strange city like a sickle. Pathé Pictorial covers a lot of territory in a year, and the Kremlin, whatever it stands for, is one of the wonders of the world that must be seen. St. Basil's Cathedral and Gum the department store on Red Square, the hub of the Soviet Union, where Lenin's body lies guarded and embalmed. This is the parade ground. But it's at Moscow's permanent exhibition that Russia's boasts and achievements are on display. Curiously, the atmosphere is distinctly American. Only in the old city's center is there color and character. Elsewhere, there's a grayness and a geometry which, like Moscow's skyscraper hotels and apartment blocks, smacks strongly of the United States. This is New England, and Pathé Pictorial is still trotting the globe, taking in the freeways and turnpikes of Boston, Massachusetts. Here's where American history was cradled. And here's where she looks back to her pilgrim father, Origins. What a diversity of people and places you can come across in the course of a single year as you fly around. From the New World, we move to one of the world's most ancient cities, Istanbul, with its mosques and minarets and the clutter of fishing boats that line the sleeve of the sea that they call the Golden Horn. In Istanbul, city transport largely consists of ferry boats, for this is a sprawl of a place half in Europe, half in Asia, across that narrow sea, the Bosphorus, which we see so aptly from a magic carpet such as you find on cable car rides in Switzerland. Come to Zermatt, where there's a network of cable cars worth three million pounds, checked daily, oiled every month, like the chairlifts, all of which are x-rayed every year. There's a rack railway which gives you, without going one foot on foot, a glimpse of that forbidding peak, the Matterhorn. 
you'll set off from Zermatt, the little town that debars all motor cars. It's horses only here, as in the Valley of Roses in Bulgaria. The Valley of Roses, where 15 billion rose trees provide a perfume famous throughout the world. 27,000 rose blooms are plucked here for every gram of perfume they produce. And they pick them in the early morning before the hot sun squanders their scent. On this reminiscent trip, we've hurried through busy places that we visited, but we must linger here. The village queen, crowned with roses in a communist country, gathers the raw materials of Exotica for fine ladies from the West, or for the rose liqueur which comes as an afterthought after dinner. The call to prayer here reminds you how countries and cultures overlap. So it's no surprise to find ourselves... Hey, presto, in Paris! The Eiffel Tower was built nearly 70 years ago. Two and a half million unshaken rivets and 7,000 tons of steel. An extravagant chandelier, it was called at first. But it still gives the best Paris panoramas. Paris. Travel the world as we do each year and you have to come back to the Paris streets, where artists gather, not too far from the Sacré-Cœur. We might still be in Turkey, because the Sacré-Cœur seems almost like a Turkish mosque. Though Notre Dame, more obviously, belongs to the Paris we love, the sentinel of the River Seine. We've been in one year in 11 countries. We've come back to the stained glass windows we know and the bright lights. 11 countries in a year. Much excitingly different from what we know and much reassuringly the same. It's a colorful world, all right, that we catch in our cameras.